Hola and welcome to this video. My name is Javier Romero and we are going to see the section on recursion and negation of the introduction of our tutorial on easy ANSI set program. So before we have seen these logic programs with recursion and we have seen how to understand it, right? And in the examples that we have seen, the predicates that occur in the head never occur negated in the body. So now let's see, when we negate them in the body, we are going to say that we have negative recursion. That is, we have a set of recursive rules, that is a set of rules such that all of them depend on all of them. And we have some predicate, in this case, the predicate B without arguments, with RIT zero, we can say, that occurs in the head and also occurs in the body in an atom that is negated, in a negated literal. Then we are going to say that this is, in this case, we have negative recursion because there's negation involved here. And if we go through the rules, then we can say that B here depends on C, that depends on A, that depends on not B. So the predicate B, in this case also the atom B, depends on the predicate B that is negated here on the atom, on the literal, not B, right? And we will say that this is negative recursion and this will not be part of ECASP. We will not write these rules with negative recursion in easy answer set program. And of course, if we add more negations here in the body, still this is negative recursion and this is not ECASP. In this case, we also have that A occurs in the head and A occurs negated in the body inside a set of recursive rules. And similarly, if we move the C, then if we also negate the C here, we are in this negative recursion and it doesn't matter if we add choice rules here, still these are a set of, recur of rules that are recursive because all of them depend on all of them directly or indirectly. And we have some predicates, in this case now all of them that occur in the head of some rule in this set of recursive rules and they also occur negated in the bodies of some of these rules. So then this is negative recursion and this is not part of easy answer set programming. We are not going to, to write programs with this type of recursion. Now something you may ask yourself is, okay, that why not, right? This is part of the language. In fact, this is something that you can write in Klingo, but we are not going to use this in our methodology. And this is for two reasons. The first one is that extending our understanding of logic programs and the answer sets to this type of programs is, let's say, a bit complicated. So it's, bit, it's easier, it's simpler to stay and say, look, we are not going to write programs of this type. And this is also a valid move because of the second reason that we, this negative recursion is not needed. And what I mean saying that it is not needed, what I mean is that if we have a problem and we represent it with a program with negative recursion, then there is always a way to represent it without negative recur without it in Klingo, okay? So I, maybe this is a bit complicated to understand to you because I have not explained to you how does negative recursion work in Klingo, but it works in some way, and you can have a look, for example, at the introduction of our course on answer set solving in practice, and there you can see how this works. But what I can tell you, and what is important for us to have clear, is that if you have a problem represented with recursive negation, you can also represent that problem without recursive negation, right? So then these are the two reasons. First, it's not easy to extend our understanding of logic program to these programs with recursive negation and also it's not needed. It's not easy, it's not needed, and this is not part of easy answer set program. And now keep in mind that I'm not saying that we cannot use negation in recursive rules. It's just to say that we cannot use negation of atoms whose predicates occur in the head of the rules in that set of recursive rules. So, for example, if we now extend the program here, it's the choice rule, then the, the recursive rules here, I put them without the, uh, with normal rules, not choice rule. And if now we add these two rules, 
that you see they are recursive because this talks about D, D this depends on this has E in the body that is here in the head and this has E in the head that has the D in the body that occurs here, right? But And here we have A and B, which are negated, but they occur here in this recursive rule, but they do not occur in this set, in the heads of this set of recursive rule. So then we can apply our methodology. So this is easy answer programming because first we can apply the choice rule, then we can apply this set of recursive rules as a single rule, and then we can apply this set of recursive rules also as a single rule because this the predicates A and B here occur in atoms that are negated, but they do not occur here in the head. They occur in the head in these rules, but they have been applied before, so this is not a problem. And then actually what happens here is that after applying this, we had the empty and ACB. And if we apply these rules here, then nothing is added after the first application. So we can just stop actually there since nothing changes after the first application. Nothing will change after applying these rules more times. Good. So I think, I hope this was clear for now. And uh, let's have a quick look at this in our notebook. And here we have this program with negative recursion. And I think I don't have to run it at this point. You know, here we write it and here we run clean on it. And this is the unique answer set of this program. And I just put it here so that you know that this is, of course, a valid clean go program. It is not part of our methodology. And in easy answer set programming, we will not write this kind of rules. But this doesn't mean that the system clean go will complain. The system also works with these rules. And if you are interested in it, as I told you before, you can go to the introduction for our course on answer set solving in practice. You can watch the videos and then it's explained how to understand these programs, right? But here we are not going to consider them. Still keep in mind, in Klingo, you can write this. And then here we have our program with what I call now here positive recursion because there is no negative recursion in it, right? Where I, what I'm doing also, as you see, is I separate the set of recursive rules. So first I put this one and then the others. And as we have, as we would expect, we have the empty set and the answer set with A, B, and C. And as before, if you want, you can comment first these rules and then you will see that still we have these two answer sets. And if we comment also this one, you will have the empty set and the set with A. Okay, then I think with it, um, I've gone through these examples. And now to finish this section, we will just sum up what we have seen here. And in this case, the summary is very simple. This is what we had here before for logic programs extended to logic programs with recursive rule. And now all we say is that negative recursion is not allowed. Good. So with this, we finish this section on negative recursion, on recursion and negation. And I hope you have enjoyed it. And let's meet in the next video. Stay tuned. Ciao.